Hi everyone and welcome to my guide for this a little bit special Demon Hunter build. So you might have seen my Witch Doctor solo stuff yesterday already and now I want to share what I have planned for the Demon Hunter. So this is something new that I free crafted during Season 20 and it's a seasonal only build because we acquire three rings in a cube. So non-season players, you're bad luck. The way this whole setup works is by combining a Legacy of Nightmares, a Legacy of Dreams and full set items equipped. This is very important. You need to have green items in every slot. So I try to get the, be the best out of everything there is in the game. So we have the Black Thorns, we have the Ashira set, we have Orgild, and we have the Hallowed uh, weapon combo, along with the Legacy of Nightmare rings, of course. The three rings we have in the cube are Obsidian Ring, Arcstone, and the Ring of Our Granger, of course, because you combine so many sets, you kind of need that. And uh, the Arcstone is kind of the key here. Arcstone is a huge damage buff, and you have a Shiraz out, you can have an Arcstone on every single of your followers. And like this, when you proc a Shiraz, you will get massive lightning spikes that just obliterate everything. But there's a caveat, this only really works very well when you have the same lightning damage value on all of those rings. So best case, you would have a primal ring on all of your followers. So um, you better farm a couple of bounty materials to um, make that happen because uh, you want to have this exact 1500% uh, lightning damage roll. In addition, since there's so much lightning going on already, I decided to include spike traps in the build. Uh, we already know that spike traps is going to be OP in Season 21, but there's actually this setup here that you can play already. So we go with the lightning rod rune, so you wait until you have 5 charges with custom engineering, you get an extra spike trap. Uh, you put it all on the ground, wait for the elites or the, the monsters to you know, walk in or you load them in slowly, and then you pop it. And then you have the, the massive uh, lightning uh, explosions everywhere. You have arcs on procs and everything just melts. Obviously for your item rolls, make sure you stack lightning damage and the typical stats like critical damage. You want to stack a little bit of cooldown because that helps with the spike traps. It uh, cools down a little faster. And of course the vengeance will also be very useful. Because we're wearing a shield and also the black thorns build, we are incredibly tanky. So you don't really have any trouble surviving even the higher tiers. So you basically just go in, make a pull as you like, and then you can, you know, just wait for the procs, and there you go. Other than that, the playstyle is pretty straightforward, so if you choose the appropriate tiers for this build, then you should have no trouble clearing them if, without any effort. Yeah, personally, I've been working towards this build for uh, two weeks now, and I'm still not quite done. It requires really insane item rolls, as I mentioned with the Arcstones, for example. I also think that, you know, if I want to go for like an actual end of season rank 1 clear with this, um, I will need to farm a couple more keys, so I was thinking about around 9001 or so, and um, I'm quite far away from that right now. So um, yeah, there's still some more farming I have to do, but uh, eventually I'm gonna push, and uh, then we'll see where I end up. This was just a quick overview of the build here right now. Stay tuned for the real push, and uh, then there's obviously more to come. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.